It's all to further interest. My minister, Atamus, brother, I named this before law. President Atamus, Otim Pomono, no, I didn't know. Obey your president, Pat, no, by your national assets. It is the interest of the family in President Atamus. The interest of individuals in Atamus law is not bigger than Atamus being the national assets. Obey your own money. Property, constitutional crisis, your bono bias from your man of special protection, special uh, uh, freedoms, your was special privilege at their mano of your so in your Asia because of your assets, national assets. It is the interest are gone a war, President Mills, no, is bigger than the interest of the family and individual. Present most we panel in law and traditional or be yet a busier and a party and a mature law or be yet a busier and a party because who are not only be a be a busier and yet it's never so oh we know I'm a busier and busier and busier and if I'm going to be the law no call I'm going to say my law I'm going to say my law and I'm going to say my law I'm a busier and busier and busier now on my law your interest, or man, say your interest for Atamas. And to your top president Atamas, it the interest of Atamas, no, yeah, general compulsory acquisition, yeah, general. And to a minor echo for Bushano, and a almost far Atamas body, no, Atamas body, never your national interest of national interest. And to Atamas body, I our two born in graveside, no, and your family they build. The nation have acquired compulsory interest in President, former President Atambo's body. It is the body no one. No. The graveside, no, please. The family don't have any interest. You are toy tracker. But Atambo's, any we push your for any candidate, our casa, any NDC, no. Including MPP, President Amos graveside no a national asset. The nation has a one national interest. It's you not know, a man of born who come a man as I say on the word day. Sabi Sabi, as we go back, say a ton money in the millions of dollars. Only Mr. Kai, you didn't show my you didn't the place and the security we provide. It's you know so. Nobody be jail be catch and say, "Emma, I buy no co graveside no. Omo busa mani. On tell us here. Oh, mama mani. He doesn't need your permission. A law. He doesn't need your consent. Because the nation have acquired a national interest in the late Professor Thomas' body. And remember, the body have been buried. So your interest, a good interest, is beyond you." They say, we talk in the national interest. What will be the best interest of the nation concerning the late Professor Thomas? And that national interest, no, is regulated and monitored and managed by the sitting president of the day. And it's a president Nando. In the national interest, no, we be your request. Say, maybe a Thomas, your former president. Yeah, yeah, don't know. No. And I say, you don't know. Get on the job, dear. Anyway, na Ghana amani be BSC no, na Ghana yet to be interested na be BSC no as we park no, how much time? Ya be say no na ya lift no, na ya attract tourists, na ama how much na na respect, eba when individual si kwa omu omu individual kwa se bi mukwa endo atamus status, omu wa koshe de wey awo dekreti omu tumbu ne omu graveside. Look at the the, the quality. Never yet did it. a whole national assets like Professor Thomas, ah Cardinal, any NDC, any Mama, any girl of whom you are in him say, a Thomas you be a or some bomba yeng. Now now a man who say a person is sharing your jam. Yes yes you are. Mosi, James say you be bomba man here. Now we will just bend. Pay the constitution. Professor Thomas' family, Cardinal, Munchalo, 
You don't have any interest in the body. No interest, no. Eh? Does it exist? No interest is no more. The national interest is higher. And the, the national interest have taken over your interest. The family interest eh, is extinguished. The dumbu, a who? Now, for the mills, it's a national asset, a national property. The body now by your grandma for dear, or my dear. It in your mind, a pet, nobody need to pay your bear. Nature will know, and in your common sense. It in Utu Becca, I say, because we all near. Now, a bush I want to know, you're calling us so, I will be a young woman here for what? It in your own mind, I dear, yeah. Yeah, the taxpayers money. I see that some people are car. And who into partisan? And who? And who? At 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 the day is saying. Now, yeah, the the government of a day. Yeah, refer the government nonsense. Now, yeah, the damn party. Say, yeah, yeah, making false allegation. Ah, there's no. Proof. But pay motion or no. Allegation of market say, I buy no cojia, the pediano, the association, the pediano, you and the pediano, so you have a root to us. Can you imagine? Ten years, I don't like. In fact, President Atamas Wu and then ten years, the first year, you have a root to us. And you make this thing on national television. And then you think it's easy. In your name, I tell law, you don't have any interest. Mukes be the the court. You don't have the capacity. I'm telling you your legal capacity as a family, even to suit a suit against the bad body. Say, Uba temper. The national interest, the father of the nation has spoken. On the moon, yeah, to me, say, I promise, I am a Japadier. Well, who, baby, I assume your party be a Hunyan, Yakoboka, I see you, I am fair. President. And the, the, the security agencies and so for a baho abeye the SF attack a commission the place and by a net abeye commission now my raho a producer may throw but the commission on a mission producer but commission no and then the raho papa and then the raho commission no yeah yeah no na NDC for an call president mama I will Program so he represents the NDC. I know that Atamos Wuyano, Oja the Chimano, already Atamos Adiye. Our program outline one co. Kana, I mean the family one co. Rather than Atamos the back the coye. So you see how you've lost it. Atamos the back coye. Kana, any family one co. NDC as a party. My uncle, present, former president, mama, uncle, rather no, Moko Gumi, you must support Oko, yeah, Adia. In fact, in fact, in fact, no, 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 I can't get away with my say you arrest him, Munia. I can say you arrested, you arrested president, mama, arrested NDC for now. I'm going after the ceremony, no, because they don't have any interest. That place is a security zone. If the state nation have spoken, if a Thomas ceremony is over, realize that the mama koye ye na ene family koye ye ne NDC for koye no. Aye, you must say national disgrace. That's my opinion. It's total unnecessary. It's unfortunate. National disgrace because with state resources and state presence, and a ceremony. I cover near the honor the late president at Thomas. Now, only the two, the 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 one to me, I'm for the creating process. One person, one oh, and we must get clear. I can't wait. Hey, man, man, you have all your policies. Now, come on, come on, come on, lobby. Now, yeah, yeah. 
Where is the Nimbasia? Where is the Nimbasia? One common way is to yourself. NDC, President Mama, former President Mama, the family of Atambas, Mumpe Atambas, I said, I can accept in on authority. So, I'm going President, President, or Shama, who said, We are a national disgrace. In some way, President Mills Becker said, My brother, I don't know, yes, sir. I don't know. No, my name was in demo. No, my dad was in demo. No, no, my name is Kami. No, I said, No, no, if you are Sana, over two brothers, I guess, I bet you are 10. I believe the allegation said, you are me, you are me, you are me, 10 years along line, and then, and then, what did you say, what did you say, 40, 40, 40, and you are me, and you are me, 10 years along the line, and then, you are me, so, you are me, you are me, you are me, you are me, I can't do me, you are 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 me, and then, NDC as a party, you are me, you are me, and I, I am me, you are me, you are me, you are me, and then, we have, the former president, when you are quench the ending, what I get to get to the what I said, what did you not tell me about the ending? And it is in four, a tear, and you were said at all. You fail to appear, you have no platform to come and speak to the nation. You are present, a year, you know, and the one which is official, and then they gave you the platform to come and speak at least a tenth adversary of your own senior. Eh, Obia, Odia, dear. No, be dear, dear. Brano, my moon, ya, no. Unyebe kasano, si debi. Rada, no. Ulowa, usself. To all official programmer. In any official recognition. Homo na wakwa apie, ye. Na wakwa adresi omu. It's a shame. It's a shame and a negative. That is my opinion. And... I am telling everybody at our family, sir, president, the former president of us, is a peaceful man. What that was in demo, 10th anniversary, you kinda, you need to talk, you need the argument, you need the, you need the, you need the, say, you're politicizing the anniversary, no? What is happening right now is a shame. It's a disgrace. It's a national disgrace. Because some people want to. Look, the NDC, because you don't have interest. The NDC as a party doesn't have interest in in Professor Mills. The nation interest surpasses your interest. The national interest is supreme. NDC as a political party, you know, your interest is not aligned than the national interest. At the most firmly, your interest is not aligned than the national interest. The state interest. Is to see Professor Mills, former Professor Mills, tomb, and in the, the gravesite, well renovated, to befit the status. Ah, the die. Eh? That's the national interest. So, if the national interest have spoken, if the state interest have spoken, who dare you be the, the lesser interest? So, I'm going to the constitution. I'm going to say, you you are violating the constitution. Because the national interest is supreme. It's supreme. And who represents the national interest? It's the president. He's the custodian of the national interest. And the national interest is that the late professor are giving a national honor. Really, if you want to understand interest, say, you're a body part of Say, individual, you're a body part of Baswa. Not company part of Baswa. And you say, I'm a body part of Baswa. Then there was state award. National award. That's greater. International award. And did you so? So individual will be more individual award that would be comparing the award to family award to, to, to organization award. Then we have state award. Then we have international award. I did so. And I mean, some law. My bon, no, no, my bon, no, no. Or my mom, my bon, it'd be my bon too much. Money more. I think the national government is honoring President Thomas with national ceremony. And yet, party ceremony. NDC is a party ceremony. Whatever Bubayama Atamas is a political in nature. 
and you have bigger than the national interest. In the national interest, we don't have MPP, we don't have NDC. We look at who Atamas stands for. Muru, Muru, you forgot to say Atamas. Bra, oh, we know. He brought the nation together. At the full run, we didn't see NDC, MPP flag. They tribute we were all talking, saying he's a man of unity. And then I said, What do we learn? We be ashamed the hypocrisy of NDC of today. Out and number sorry na mu 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 shia shia ta almost wamu rather more after the wamu no more the confusion. So some more person at almost eh 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 we remember at almost a person who we are or the or the or the confusion at him the day any 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 topa. Where lies his legacy? Well, what how do you want to remember him? It's a national shame. It's a shame. We have to condemn President, uh, former President Mama, condemn the family, and condemn the NDC for failing to honor such an invitation, for failing to be at Asumje Park to show that you love President, uh, President Thomas. That is my opinion. Mr. Mo, we are going to look at the Gita picture. The second topic, very interesting. The question I pose is the judiciary under attack. Is the third arm of government under attack? Is there an attempt to expose the judiciary to public hatred, ridicule, and content? Is that an attempt? To expose the Chief Justice, kill an attempt, an attempt to destroy the legacy of the Chief Justice. What is happening to the judiciary? The role of the Ghana Bar Association, the judicial service, civil society, the various interest groups. Are we allowing or will it allow the third arm of government, the most powerful arm of government, with the mandate to ensure that there is rule of law, there is justice, that our democracy is secured? Who and who? So I'm going to look at it. This will be. The press and national say a conference or press release read by no other. We will listen to it one by one. Look at the legal implication of what the secretary said. Look at the Garaba Association. What look at the national interest and the way forward. Mitchell, meba. Give it to
eternal God. We praise you for the great company of all those who have finished their course in faith and now rest from their labor. We praise you for those dear to us whom we name in our hearts before you, especially as Ghanaians, we praise you for our former president, His Excellency Professor John Evans Fifi Atamels, whom you have graciously received into your presence. To all of these, grant your peace. Let perpetual light shine upon them and help us to believe where we do not see with our eyes. That your presence may lead us through our years and at the last bring us with them into the joy of your home, not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To your glory and honor, O oh Lord, we unveil and dedicate this edifice, which will be a reminder of the presence of our late president. May this serve as a memorial to all of us. And as we're coming here, giving honor to your name, follow his good examples. This we pray through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thomas. Oh, they are waiting. Uh, 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 
years, but is appointed unto man to die. It in we then say that now do we then say president, we then say former president, we know most of make join. Senior member, senior member, we pay back. We are not we are senior member at the bar. We are senior member. And of some, some I know. What did I say? And you know, Professor Mills is not a family asset anymore. Most of no. He has not moved to be a saint. Say a Roman or a saint. The money say you are saying in Tokwana no ye busheni ne si ye kuno. He is not a saint. What focus on what happened to? He was no young crow. Every one year no young crow. NDJP woh. And he ready na wa share ye bosse. Say ye ye ju mana, heavy ho ye nyu nyam kro, eni je pi wo ho. Professor Mills we ye ne ju mano. Professor Mills e ye. I go say she ane wo fu amu wo. Wala di Jesus di mu. Every print print record. Na wo wo mu say you you. Na wo wo me fu mu bre mu. Na wo wo ma pa di mo ti. President Mills ju ma pa no. Amu ne tsa me papa. Or so, or enjoy peace. Now what did he have? And a kwasiaku, and the beef, beef and yen same new. But the man say, "Jalu sa ma ma mo so mo na mo 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 so mo." Oh, mo so mo so mo. On the one who no one know, president, former president, man say who no one know. Oko, yeh chima na, yeh da bobra papa na yeh kasi papa. Nah, dia suri hati saya sudah sesu. Nanti yang yang mesti mai yang mesti asal. Yang mesti yang mesti yang susah yang kafir mudi. Nada cipri ofen orang ini nanya mua. Yang susah kau buat pun tahu. Dia tahu ini mama. Enak ni NBC. Enak kena. Oh berapa korun dia? Korun dia? Enak enak yang tahu. Enak it is the grave. Oh my God. We have nothing doing this country. I don't want to tell you what you want. I don't want to tell you what you want. Ten years along the line. Obiyewu. And the grave issue. And it's Asunjee Park. It's not Asunjee Park. And I bury. And I give my permission. A fool so. A fool of a woo for ten years. No, you're not serious. You're not serious. You're not serious. You're not serious. Look. We have bread and butter issues. You are serious shit. Look what you're talking about. You're doing technology. How to solve the economic problems? You are seeing here during Cold War. Come with the any Ukraine war, no? I have fifty individual nations, nations economy. Cold War, you are going to me. I supported the system. I'm fighting inflation. End up, what I'm trying to say, the currency depreciation. And how what you are going to be born now? You want how high you know? You end here. You fool. The full of what they yes, no. And I'm present, Mama. Aya, aya campaign. We want to end this phony candida. Mungo fa tamasi. The full na mungo re, mungo re. Mungo njamo. What kind of, what kind of nation is this? These are our leaders, sir. You, you, you. In fact, what kind of? I'm, I'm sure the West. And the thing is, the president have done this in the national interest, and I hope and pray. Say for Monday, you know, we should not even have time to comment about this issue. This will not bring us any development. I tell you, stay yes and this, you know, yeah, 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 honor, no. We should end there. And this is focus on really political power. More, more focus on MPP for the young national delegate conference. My young winner, oh my, yeah, yeah, young winner, they are focused. What did I say? Say, if MPP retain power, come the case of where we move. Because if you end this in your serious, MPP is focused. Also, I'm not focused so I am on I'm on I'm on I'm on police station executive. Everyone is saying elections, constituency elections. You know the regional. They are now planning to do their national and then elect their father. What the hell? And I said, look at here. Instead of putting structures and systems, giving alternative law, 
what is important for your party and leadership is how you can also organize yourself, put up strategy to win political power. Because politics are bad, and they do the solo, you have to win your bow. And you want to tell us that we are at numbers and are so dear pack in a community. Now, if I could go to it shows that the party is not ready for power. And 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 if you think that Ghanaians are fools, say, and I tell you, Nasana. A twenty to the four do and the power of Shamusa, and then you work for it. And then Ghanaians are just say, Well, you can't just come and throw your weight around. You work for it. So let's see your seriousness, NDC. And let's stop the joke. That's my opinion. Now let's move on to the critical issue is the judicial on attack. NDC, as a party, I have a press conference. General Mosquito Akasa. So we produce our hair. We say, "Gana footi na itieno asope muna mensu be respondo." But the hope said the Chief Justice, Justice Enim Yebua, is watching. I'm hoping and praying say the President, who is a member of the Bar Association, is also watching. I'm praying that the, the, the General Legal Council members know. I'm sorry the last time no, I, I couldn't make it, but I'll make it the, uh, after vacation and I appear before you. I think say the general council members also, senior members are watching. I think say the judges of other countries are watching and, and civil society, everybody should be interested in what I see this is the response. And to the producer, my name is Asudi Kitia, the views, the comment, the, 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 the sessions. And they, they worry about the judiciary. Let, let's listen to Asenu Kutia. From what uh, we did last week, last week our focus was on um, the NDC as a party. Today, our focus is on governance and the judiciary. And um, certain developments within the judiciary, which we think, if not checked, can pose a grave danger to our democracy and our national stability. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Democratic Congress has carefully considered certain recent developments within Ghana's judiciary and is gravely concerned that if immediate steps are not taken to nip these negative developments in the bud, they will fester with serious harmful effects on the public confidence in our judiciary and by extension in, our, in the democracy of our country as a whole. Our decision to publicly address these concerns has not been taken lightly. We are aware of the auspicious and critical role of our, the, our judiciary plays in our democracy. The sometimes lonely and solitary lives of our judges, their traditional reserve and non comment, no comment policy on certain matters of national importance. These attributes of our judges require that we exercise great restraint in our public comments on the judiciary. We are, however, convinced that constructive criticism of our judiciary particularly the apex court, is a national duty. 
and as the largest opposition party in Ghana, we will be remiss in our duties to the nation and the people of Ghana if we remain silent in the face of these developments. Accordingly, our duty to our national constitution and obedience to our national motto, freedom and justice, compels us to speak up. Ladies and gentlemen, the NDC has observed that our democracy cannot operate efficiently and deliver the values of freedom, justice, development, and equality of opportunity for all citizens, regardless of political affiliation, if our judiciary, particularly elements within the Supreme Court, become or are perceived to be the rented agents or the political wing of a political party. In recent times, certain happenings at the apex court in particular have dampened our faith in the court. And it was for this loss of faith that has provoked our petition to the General Secretary of the Commonwealth of Nations regarding various acts of human rights violations, criminal persecutions and harassment of the members and supporters of NDC by the government of Ghana, headed by His Excellency President Nana Adedankwa Akufu Addo. Some of these developments are hereby enumerated as follows. Number one, no reasons assigned for judgments and rulings. One disa disappointing, if not scandalous development that is likely to make our justice system the butt of jokes among other democracies in Africa and the world at large is the phenomenon of court judgments without reasons. In recent times, our Supreme Court has handed down some judgments and rulings that do not make any legal or factual sense because the court has failed to assign any reasons for these judgments. Two examples will suffice. It is instructive to note that in the recent case of Abdul Malik Wakubako versus the Attorney General, suit number J1 stroke 225 stroke 2018, which had raised certain important constitutional questions about the impeachment proceedings of Mrs. Charlotte Osei the chairperson, the then chairperson of the Electoral Commission. The Apex Court simply declared, without any reason, that, quote, after listening to counsel in the matter on the question whether the instant action is a proper invocation of our original jurisdiction, and also having regard to the processes filed in this matter, we are of the view that the action does not raise any issue of interpretation or enforcement. Accordingly, we strike out the action, which in our view is unmeritorious. We thought that before you come to such a conclusion, you document the reasoning into this decision so that by so developing the law and the judgment let me say i think say I, I i i want to raise issues uh uh i said the uh, issue of attack of the supreme court and one of the reasons i said 
all yellow He doesn't understand the legal jargons on color school that. In fact, on the case of Supreme Court, do a election petition, 2012, 13, and he carried one, because I saw the on your lawyer. One of the issues all raising against the Supreme Court, they say, there is a case, uh, Supreme Court, I'm going to say, one my judgments. And he didn't give reasons. Meanwhile, no, and in his own submission, as you, the Supreme Court gave reasons. Judgments are ah, on oh no, the oh no, court too, you know. The reasons now, nah, Supreme Court tomorrow, they say, lawyer now nah, um, appear before, you know. When tomorrow demonstrate this uh, case, no, call for constitutional interpretation. That's the reason. It depends on that, no. Application in the merit. They may, they may be an person Supreme Court judges, not to say, no much so 10 or 15 page. So you see the 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 the, the, the inconsistency and 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 uh, the what is it? I said the a disgrace to the NDC as a party. And if the lawyers in NDC are, are, are listening to I said the citing a Supreme Court case and then giving reasons why a court who came to that conclusion or now says that because that is not we would. That been ten two internal reasons. Maybe it's never true. Said judge, be a natural judgment without reasons, because their right to appeal, no, is based on reasons. And every court rules and govern the court judgment of courts and say reasons must be given. At times, all postpone the reasons. No, so. This case is strike out. I'll dismiss. And they are in two weeks' time. Budget reasons. That's all what happens. Case is not also. And don't watch here. Case be why of that two weeks. Or a consumer war. We have a lot of cases, sir. Recently, Supreme Court and making ruling. Two weeks time we we'll apply to the registry. The Supreme Court registry. We will have a copy of the reasons. Judgment of every court bear public documents. It is, it is never true. Say so the judiciary will give judgment without reasons. Even in the district court, they give reasons. So you see, this attack, but I said, it clearly shows an agenda. Say, he is just trying to create public hatred, contempt, and ridicule to the Supreme Court judge, sir. Omo yo mo juma na 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 wa wunyalo yemi na. What the fuck? Pepper and pen. I shall get a full name. And making serious assertions, sir. Rokasano, you are not trained as a, as a lawyer and a jurist. Rokasano, reason, sir, oh, my, what judgment, no, is the reason why the Supreme Court strike out the case. It's sad, you see? Let me tell you something. Before I, we will listen to Asuri Kitiya, but let me tell you something. The agenda by NDC party Always having issues with the judiciary is problematic. It's sad. And it has become too many. It is only NBC party. Even when they are in power, they have problems with the judiciary. But when they are out of power, they have problems with the judiciary. Who can do it well? 2012. Even 2008. Who can do it well? I'm talking about 2008. Two or eight of that, Professor Moses, really power, Emma and DC. Then you know Wood, the former chief justice, the woman of substance who rose through the rank of back of her, Mammy Penimo Wabobra, as a state prosecutor, I rise to second to, 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 to high court to call appeal, and he was nominated as a chief justice. 2009, oh, oh. 08 up to almost 2012. Cases are the government of the day. Money can court me and be bring no more zuzu because prosecution in here. A bill say I'm going to call Canada. I'm going to call you. The case I'm going to call the department. I don't want to zuzu here. Then NBC had issue. When at that time Professor Moses was power though, they had issue with the judiciary. I'm 
Talking about art, Mekai, true. Comrade Jay, that there are so many ways of killing a cat. Because she just is the wood. Then there's no area by us. When you were in power, you complain against the judiciary. In fact, 2012, when you were still in power, our President Mama may take over from Matamas. MPP, like by President Nado, went to court. 2012, 2013, the petition. Get a former guy. That time now we let me see three. Let me hear let's see petitions analysis. The The same Supreme Court presided by Justice Atukuba. Look, I dismiss, 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 dismiss. Or dismiss it. If I'm a judgment, no mind, or we did judgment, it's less than 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we have a case for eight, eight months. Atukuba, yeah, dismiss, 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 dismiss. 12 against, I can't remember. I saw, I saw later, I'm going raises. President Nando and NDC, MPP, at that time. Now, President Atukuba, the presiding judge. Then the whole first Raymond Atukuba, I only mama, I hear the mama, executive secretary. Of the mama, the anchor, I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear, justice, I hear, I presiding judge. That's not true. But MPP as a party, Philip Addison, Nana Domo, they didn't raise issue. Say, I don't see that. President Mama, who was the secretary, Raymond Atuba, the uncle, the Satuba, are all three cases. That likelihood of bias. But MPP as a party, like President Nana Domo, Philip Addison didn't raise issue. Yeah, they are the also the way I said, Joe Munia, let's have contempt. Some of the people who are facing we all saw what went on. I'm going to get the buy. President Nando, I hear a press conference. I see many of you, but for the sake of democracy, I disagree. But let's go on. There was no attack on the judiciary. Oh my God, say, hey, I'm a judicial ring yet. But come 2020, we did the case at the court. Supreme Court that trial, so, then they have to see it. We lose what? Still. The attempts by NDC government to be uncomfortable with the judiciary, I understand. The judiciary is a third arm of government too. You see, please, you should not cry. The judiciary, you know, I a turn out of government too. So if you attend the judiciary, you are taking the government. In fact, the judiciary, you know, I the arm of government, I'm only on Kofwa. The judges over there, you know, I'm only on Portica. The appointment is based on Emirates. But then we have NDC apologies. Labeling the, the judges. In this country, say, what the judge led by Sasu, start the game. Sasu, and at the point that judges in the country, you know, only with the power, they will sack all of them. And as I said, the case is continuing. And almost every MPP apparatus and lawyers, you are making this assertion. More more, the current judges, not only Supreme Court judges, every judge be on a judgment, but go against. Anybody who is associated with NDC, you know, or your political judge, and their life have been threatened. I said, look at here. What has the judiciary done? No, NDC, no country. So, some of the judiciary, and you see, <laughs> the judiciary is already a state institution. I mean, yeah. You don't, it's so easy to produce judges. Before you become a judge, you know, it's not easy. And this is a politician, politician say, no, everybody is capable of becoming a politician. In fact, member parliament, people even try to lobby to become uh, MPs. But judges, no. They are specialized people with a training called to the bar. It takes two more years before you become a judge, before you become a judge. And it's not that area. Anything I mean, 
Oh, watch it very well. Uh. Every coup, bar, you touch every arm of government. But the only arm of government you touch is coup bar. It's a judiciary. Coup bar, executive flow. That's executive flow. The chimunia, you go the government already. That's executive. Now about parliament, they are suspending parliament. But have you seen any coup touching the judiciary? You can't touch the judiciary. What's wrong with the political? They display justice. They are there forever. They will be there until they go on to time it. Because the moment you destroy the judiciary, there will be anarchy. That is the only institution I say for the judicial power. That is the only institution that just they could die. So NDC, what at all has the judiciary done? When you are in government, the judiciary. When we in government, the judiciary. And then there's this deliberate attempt to paint the chief justice, Justice Enim Yabua, one of the finest jurists, finest jurists in the country, a very humble lawyer, well disciplined, honest, a man of integrity. He will be a matolo in practice. But once he was in practice, so we will know you were you were secondary school. But my reading the background, a young, humble, Ashanti guy from a humble home rose to the level and then he became the president of, of the bar at Eastern Region. Cautionary records as a lawyer at Eastern Region. Kofolodia, Obian in Justice Ebua, the sharpness, the level of intelligence. The practice, the advocacy skills. Being a lawyer, he has never engaged in any professional misconduct. He has been he has been so honest to the clients. I resist the year bar president before a move to to serve the, the, the judiciary. The youngest person quickly the promotion was quickly from from high court uh, court appeal. Oh, perhaps we court. Then we are ushering the judgment. Go and read Justice Elim Yabua judgments. Right from High Court to, to the, 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 the Supreme Court. Go and read his judgment. Since I am appointing me, there's a deliberate attempt, a statute attempt by using Kirby Taylor. To malign the man, insult the man, attack the man. Can be tell that all kinds of things, allegations that have not been proven against the system in the world. Then Google Pan Rufi. Then Tatuchi Kata. Even at the time uh, when winning case was Supreme Court, during the election petition, 2012, came to attack the system in the world on national television. Sarena. Judge Simi, I no judgment, no. I no pay extra judgment against NBC and Mama. Personal hatred for the chief, chief justice, and then this man has become the, pre, the the chief justice. He has never committed any wrong. No wrong doing. His performance administrative role. I will lobby the government of the day for the first time in the history of Ghana. No chief justice in this country, this fourth republic, has to be a lobby government or a massive investment in the judiciary. Look at Casa, Yedama judges. Look at the Bangalos, Yedama judges. Look at the courts, Ahua, Yedama constructed. Look at the, 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 the kind of training, the discipline. That just is a new boy, and then by the, the judiciary. Look at how swift I was set up. Uh, I want to say this very committee, a uh, 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 complaint unit. Look at how he's helping to digitize the court. And look at how there can be corruption in the judiciary. Putting system and structures in place. COVID period, no more, how he was able to manage the system. So, so far, the administration. There's, there's, there's peace. There's no uh, uh, industrial, uh, 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 what they say, the judiciary. Managing them, although there are difficulties. The judiciary is facing financial difficulties, administrative difficulties. With, with all these years, we're going to manage it. Next year, 
Namir Aduma. He may go on to retirement. Then there's, I, I said, we can tell to me, Peter Aduka say, Chief Justice, in the history of Ghana, no, will be the worst Chief Justice without any basis. No legal basis. No, no basis. Per near hatred. Near hatred. The Chief Justice, a man of integrity, proving character, one of the finest jurists in the country, we should go and read it, the judgments. A humble man. There's an attempt to destroy the legacy. An attempt to paint him black. And the Ghana Association, you are, you are sitting down and watching. Are you not worried? The Ghana Bar Association, are you not worried about what is happening? Ghana Bar Association, are you not worried about what is happening? Are you not seeing what I'm seeing? That there's a deliberate attack, the division of criminal attack, an attempt to destroy our source of livelihood. Listen to me, lawyers in this country. The hypocrisy of some of you. But you know, the lawyers who are destroying the legal profession are political lawyers. More lawyers now make a political lenses. No more than the politicians. You are the ones destroying the legal profession. The lawyers now more more politicians. The lawyers who are MPs, the lawyers who are ministers, the lawyers who are into active politics, they are now turning around to destroy. The legal profession. They attack the judiciary and Malibamo, you know, Kofandamo, Sashumo, uh, and when I say, name them. Then uh, uh, the current person who is trending, Pebu. Until recently, I thought Pebu, you have been sound in law, nine gentlemen, say, nah. Oh, Pebu. Pebu was say, crap, 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 crap. The point is yet, kind, uh, kind, kind. Politics are killing people. Like people who are yellow. Can 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 can. A nice young gentleman, or camera, no. I know a question political lens. It will be that no. What we can say will be a criminal syndicate without any without any evidence to support it. Or to make us a president is a criminal. No alleged. Now you sue for defamation. Now, and now you are sue for. Spend the force with that. Then you tell oh, any witch hunting. Then we don't need an agenda. You see, let me tell you something. The reason why I'm worried as a lawyer, me, I'm being my ample. 54 years of my life, 54 years of my life, check my records. One, me, me, and Juma, our public institution. I've never been on the payroll of the attorney when it's a government of Ghana. It's a taxpayer's money. I've never been anyone who appointed me to any position. But I have been contracted that. I even don't go closer to any governing power. Nanado, any MPP, I don't get closer to them. MPP, NDC, I don't get closer to them. I'm not on the payroll of any politician. But I've been able to survive because I'm not a lawyer. Being an officer of the court, no? with no flaw in democracy, no? to court practice. Cases and I are surviving. So every lawyer be a be any do one, any the judiciary. But today we have lawyers who have turned around because their source of livelihood is into politics, and they make a lot of money in politics. 
And you know, they are now attacking the judiciary. They are calling the judiciary names. They are destroying the judiciary to the state, sir. Some of them say the judiciary is political. It doesn't need to be exist. And you see, these lawyers have attacked the judiciary to the state, sir. They have attacked the judiciary council. They should open the floor gate for everybody to become a lawyer. Eh? The judiciary, they, they even think that the judiciary needs cleansing. They have all come be now. The public confidence in the judiciary is going down. These lawyers, these political lawyers, they are the ones leading the crusade. And you see, when you lawyers do this, there are people who are not lawyers like Manasseh Mo. Oh, somebody like Manasseh. Ah, Oko, journalism school, Kano, why not here? Manasseh can come and say, say chemistry, Kano, is difficult than law. And no lawyers are angry. Then Manasseh come out. Chief Justice comes out with a directive which is embedded in our tradition. Say, when you go to court, and are you a junior, don't go and call your case first. Because when you sit down and the senior cases are called, no, you learn something. You know the why? You didn't have an opportunity to have a lot of seniors. My only senior that I had, you know, we did three, four years, no, every year. So I practice the law by going to the courtroom and sitting down to hear seniors do argument. Raising issues, legal issues, citing legal authorities. Then you will be sure they will. So when I go to court those days, I'm a junior lawyer now. I can't. I don't call my case first. I sit down and take notes from the seniors how they make applications and how they argue their cases, their legal opinions. We learn in the courtroom because legal education is a continual legal education. As a lawyer, we always learn. There is no end to learning. What's a lawyer? That's why we call we are called learned people. You swear they are to the to we die. So we learn the practice in court. And it, the, the chief justice in his, uh, the wisdom say, look, let's practice. Then we have Manasi, who is not a lawyer. I don't know to say Jesus Christ. Manasi comes out to attack the chief justice. Say the chief justice, the diet is useless because it's discriminatory. In the bar, you sit down. You don't say anything. I said to Kitia, look at the press conference. Everything that I said to Kitia said then, yeah, you know. That's an adapt in law. But we have political lawyers sitting down and applauding. That's because they're attacking the Supreme Court. You see, the Supreme Court judges in you cannot, you can't do focus to them. They don't owe allegiance to any political party. The Supreme Court judges don't owe allegiance to anybody. The allegiance is to the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and the people of Ghana. And as Article 125 of the Constitution says, that justice emanates from the people and it shall be administered in the name of the people by the judiciary. And they swore oath to do good to all manner of persons and to administer justice without fear of favor. And they swore oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. You dare not. Your propaganda, your insult, your threat cannot remove them from office. We will continue to support the judiciary. We will continue to defend them. We will continue to encourage them. And I'm calling on the Ghana Bar Association that there are elements within the opposition and some lawyers in opposition and some lawyers who so-called lawyers who don't practice in Ghana. I'm going to tell you, and they want to destroy the judiciary. And when the judiciary is destroyed, lawyers, our source of honor, who livelihood will be in trouble. But I want to tell us lawyers, when there is school, where is rule of law? When there is school, where will be the judges to abuse justice? When the public confidence eh, is said that they don't trust and they don't go to court, how will you make meeting? If the other person decides to say they don't believe in the court system again, lawyers, how would you get cases? And you don't see this thing 
has an attack on our economic life. That this kind of people, like I said, with with no legal background, people like I said, have made money in politics. I said, Ketia, who is leading this, this thing? It's a politician. Our, our factory, or our, our cement factory, or block factory, or one day later, we go, we go to room. I said, Ketia, Nasasin Kwaguo. The business the law. So you people sit down and say, Ketia, we attack the judiciary and rubbish the judiciary. And support the judiciary to public and the legal. And lawyers in this country, you don't care. You are, you are looking at politics. Listen to me. Every lawyer, politics is transient. Political power is transient. When you are an MP today, you will not be MP tomorrow. President Leonardo is president and a lawyer. But come 20, 24, he's leaving political office. But he continues to be a member of the bar and a lawyer. You can come back and practice the law. Most of the MPs are, when you lose your parliamentary seats, you come back to practice the law. So why do you think that you want to become big and, and, and talk anyhow when you, you, are, you, when you get political power? You think that with the political power, you can intimidate the system. You, you, don't, you don't respect. Who share obitia sasu? And then some of somebody like Pebu, junior lawyers, Pebu, who junior, but maybe you will be a call law school now or a GSS. Pebu, who GSS? You don't respect. You have become now, you have become lawyers. Some of them are not even 10 years in practice. You are you treating the system, you treat the bar, you install the bar, you install the, the bench. Who dare you? Some of us will defend the judiciary at the peril of our life. The chief justice will, will defend the chief justice. You can't touch the chief justice. You can't take the legal justice. In fact, some of us have decided from today, during vacation, we will do legal, free legal aid in, in remembrance of the chief justice. The chief justice in Nyebwa, we will protect the legacy. Some of us will protect the, 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 the previous chief justice. They deserve our, 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 our commendation. They have done so much. The living chief justice, like the Sophia, Justice uh, 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 Wood, and the, this current chief justice, the Dawa, and Nanado will be given the opportunity once again to appoint a new chief justice. We will support every chief justice to deliver, to strengthen our judiciary. To give hope to the people. What did I say? So let's stop these attacks. People like I said, Ukitamo, with no legal training, talk anyhow. What, is it that, what, what, what capacity are you addressing the judiciary? With a level of knowledge in, in, in law, can you talk about law? Who told you who gave you that legal capacity to talk about law? How can I say you can if again I need a shit or country? I say you can at your level. You, you don't have legal background, then you come and discuss case. You are talking about cases and cases. And lawyers in NDC are quiet because you think you think it's 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 good for you. When you go to a Supreme Court and you don't present the good case, you lose. No judge. Judge be anywhere or give judgment based on political reasons. Every judgment is based on the facts. It's based on the fact in issue. The evidence that you prove, you are able to prove the fact in issue. Judicial reasoning. Case law, statutes, equity. What is the best interest of, of, of the nation? Judges take all those in consideration. So if you're not happy with a judgment, don't come in and insult the Supreme Court judges. NDC as a party, if you cannot support the judiciary, shut up. We are tired of you. 
and the insult and attack on the judiciary. Who dare you? But we'll be like, look, look at them, look at them, look at them. Look at them. Bra, bra, the team just is about to be on I said, look at you. How can you compare yourself to any other one in life? I said, okay, look at you. And then just as a new boy, look at you. Structure wise, when it comes to personality, the two of you, when you stand, you stand there, when it comes to education, education, intelligence, capacity, somebody who has risen to be a, a, a third, a, a, he, he has the third arm of government. And I would the NDC, General Secretary, now you yeah, mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. Who calls who control of good mass? Yeah, who call it be some I say, I mean, I don't know. Just come on. You went to the Supreme Court, they were asking you, what is your evidence? You see, the evidence is the chief see, uh, easy. You you call this guy, so you are not able to perform. You use this press conference to attack the judiciary and say, one, they don't give reasons for their judgment. Who told you? Then another one, and the chief justice uh, uh, is abusing the administrative powers. You were not able to give better, better, better. Federal better particulars about the allegations. Sir, the citizens is abusing just because he empanel members. I go 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 empanel with Bushra for. She don't go empanel your your family members to come and sit on the cases. I don't tell you that any judge takes direction from the citizens when it comes to the judicial function. Judges are independent. When it comes to administrative, the chief justice is supreme. He has the what? He has the power to 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 assign cases, consolidate cases. To assert judges, that is absolute power. Until you can evidence that he is abusing it, you don't have the evidence. Then you come out to say that the chief justice is assigning cases. And so what? And then another area of talk about say we have court of appeal judges sitting as high court judges. Is it the first time? It is something that will go on. But if a lot of the court of these judges are idle, and the 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 the, 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 the cases are so much. That, that, that we don't have enough high court judges to handle. Now, you see, some of the high court court judges to go and sit as a judge. What, what, what does that amount to abuse? And lawyers in NDC, you know that that's an abuse. You know. And what about appointment? So, President Abedo is appointed judges. So, the, the judges are very tight in the same properties. How can you say these things? How can you say these things? Do you think Nanado and MPP will come to will be in power forever? No. There will come a time when political power will change. And when you come to government, listen to NDC. Who tell me? The more you know, you are sowing a very dangerous seed. You are sowing a very dangerous seed. You see, I'm I'm not happy. I'm worried about NDC and Mama. When you are doing the judiciary, you no. Know, granted, that 2024, you win power. These same judges. Are you going to work with them? Or you are going to label some as podcast judges and begin to sack them? You are going to be chaos. Then when you do that, then NPP2, once in the position, will also start labeling the judges that you are going to appoint as podcast judges. How will the state institution work? Instead of you holding a press conference, and deal telling Ghanaians about the economic situation we find ourselves in, and giving us options, alternatives that granted that if they give you power, you can turn the economy around. Instead of criticizing the government of the day and making the government unpopular and making sure that the NPP don't look good. So that at least Ghanaians can trust you. You don't do it. The, the innocent judiciary. I'm a money politics. I'm not even nipping a gun or so. Ah, now they they just do that. They just no. I they just responsible for prosecution. And it's a mo 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 then the case comes before the judge. Then you are saying that the, the judges are, 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 are helping to uh, uh, this what? I, I don't just understand. So the whole press conference of a civil case that doesn't make sense. It's just a ground attempt to destroy the reputation of the justice and the legacy of the justice, which we will not 
Some of us will fight, will rise and fight. We will defend the judiciary, we will support the judiciary. This is the thing. And those who think that the judiciary is not for them, they can go to hell. They can go to hell. The judiciary will continue to live, perform the constitutional role, defend the constitution, promote rule of law, ensure that justice is, 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 is administered without fear or favor. And ensure that the judiciary is instead of you, NDC, what are you bringing on board? What are you doing? What is your 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 your, your, your agenda? Serbia, look, if 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 you vote for us, you have to to establish more courts, solve some of the problems that the judiciary is facing, improve justice delivery. This is what we want to hear from a responsible opposition, disciplined opposition. Not the threats and the name calling. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't move anybody. When you have a bad case and you lose, take it in good faith. Nobody goes to court when the when the person says you are going to win at all costs. It is about contest. It's a legal contest. You go, you prepare, you win. When you lose, you lose. Every lawyer has lost a case before. Doesn't it doesn't mean that you are, you are not a good lawyer. And the judges. You attack them because you you, you 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 are not winning your cases. If you present a bad case, and then when you lose a case, you come turn around to blame the judges for, for, for losing. Please, we are not going to allow you to destroy the judiciary. Some of us will rise and defend the judiciary and put the judiciary. This is a new boy. It's not going anywhere. Any attempt to, to destroy his legacy will not hold. The man has performed and is performing. The man has delivered and is delivering. The man has lived. He, he has gone into the record books as one of the greatest jurists in the country. National, national, national honor will be done. The way uh, uh, Georgina Wood, the way uh, uh, Sophia Kufu uh, retire in peace. The man will also retire in peace. And this, he put your house in order. I said, you can tell me, hey, destroy your party. And I'm going to put the party. I'm going to put the Listen to me. This political politicians, both MPP and DC, you can't destroy the judiciary. NDC and MPP, you can't destroy the judiciary. And leave the judiciary alone. They themselves have issues. The judiciary staff members have issues. They are contained with issues. Oh, yeah, say the judges have issues. The, the, the number of cases say airborne on chain. The pressure in the job. Their health at stake. They, 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 they have given up their social life. That is ain't to me chill it. Me me we do many a me we pay do many a me we a me co chill it. That is don't chill. They alone. Lawyers we make we take money from our clients and we go and give them the judges of Wahala. They we take money and then we go and do cases. Whether we win or not, we've taken money. The judges look at the number of judgment judges rights. What did I say? Their pay is not enough. Their allowances at times don't come. The judges in this country are already stressed up. They have issues of their own. All is not well at the judiciary in terms of their resources, in terms of their, uh, 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 um, uh, um, uh, their structure, their logistic infrastructure, their, 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 their basic needs. These are the challenges when you go to the old country, bungalows of judges. And deplorable states, most of the courts are deplorable The digital assemblies are helping, but we still need support. It's out of a responsible and responsible position. Thinking worse in your position, what you will do for the judiciary, you have resort to allow a here with no legal training and legal background coming to mess up, coming to attack the integrity of judges and then ridicule it 
and then expose it to public hatred and contempt to make the public lose confidence in the judiciary. Is that what we want? Is that what we want in this country? The judiciary will live forever. You politicians, you, you will go. You see, all the politicians, as I can tell you, days are normal in terms of general secretary. This year, we are almost about 80 years now. We are still misbehaving. And President Obama, because of small power, you want to come to power for four years. You are also joining them every day in the judiciary. The mama, mama, Kasa in the judiciary. I saw the Ketia Kasa in the judiciary. And then, and then Tatikata. And then NDC lawyers have problems with the judiciary. Then small boy like Sasu, Sasu comes and talks about political judges. And then Ayini Ye come and talk about what, 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 what has the judiciary done to you? In government, you are not comfortable. When you are in opposition, you are not comfortable. So what, what, what do you want the judiciary to do to you? It's my prayer that reasonable Ghanaians will understand what I'm saying. The truth is bitter, but I'll say it. We need strong institutions. And we can only build strong institutions when we support the system, but not to destroy it. When we encourage the system, but not to not to not, not to create a sense of hopelessness. And, what? and lawyers, reasonable lawyers, I'm talking to you. You more lawyers than more 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 political hats and spectacles. Come be demo be our own. Come be demo. Ewo me mu. We have favor of the Lord all of our life. We don't chop from politics. We chop from, 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 from the court. What did I say? And, and, and we chop from what we do in the media and the consultancies. But we need to preserve the judiciary. Because that is the only hope. That is the only institution that you don't touch. That's the only situation that you have to you have to help to build so that at least they can protect our rights and ensure rule of law and democracy. There is a way when you are not happy with the judiciary, we go about it. And then that's the way. I saw the Kitab way is destructive. When judges are not performing, there's a way, constitutional and the law gives you an opportunity to petition. For their remover. When you're not happy for judge, there's a complaint, you go. I want to come and stand there, and then the whole Supreme Court, you come and tell them that they don't give reasons for their, 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 their decisions. And then you, you come and tell us that the Chief Justice is, is going to be the worst without giving us further and better particulars. What has the man done? I said, okay, if we tell you, we ask you right now, what has the, from the Chief Justice done? You, you, are, you, you only come and talk and administrative abuses and we are not giving us further and better particulars. What has the man done to murder that unwarranted uh, attack? You see? And, 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 and they say Rampa Pekun and a Pedif. This is all about Rampa Pekun and Pedif. I'm being honest. I'm being truthful. I'm being truthful. Because you can't just wake up and press conference and, uh, and destroy an institution and a judiciary. And, and those who are calling for Leonardo to resign, you are, you are not normal. People, like people, you are not normal. If you are normal, you will not call for the president to resign. You are not giving reasons. The party that you are supporting, did Mama resign when, when we were having the political leaders? People, like people, are you there? Did Mama, the, 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 the Mama you are campaigning for, did Mama resign? Can we can, come and tell us a president of any president who resigned based on economic challenges? If you even on corruption, and you have the nerve and the gas to come and sit, to, they give you the opportunity to come and talk. You, have any, you don't have anything to talk, so you come and talk about the president to resign. Or resign of a minor. But in order to resign and give the power to Mama, is that what you are talking about? Or give the power to the military? Or give the power to, to your, 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 yourself? You see, we, 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 we
when, when, we give, when we are giving platform to educate people, you make allegations and then you can't prove it. Now one day it will, it will go hard against you. Right, people? So look, let me tell you something. In life, eh, one of the things you have to fear in life is when people are applauding you. Oh. When you make statements, who think oh, they will get them. You, you say things anyhow. And people are applauding you. Hey, it's a trap. That, that irresponsible political statement you have made, and people are hashtagging, hashtagging. <laughs> they are the same people. When you goof and something happened to you, they will turn around and say, crucify him. Say, no, guys, you are just a small boy, a long, young boy in practice. They are very small. We have seniors. People have been in practice for 40, 50 years. Show respect. President Ronaldo has been your senior for about... Uh, when President Ronaldo was practicing, you were, you were not even born. Give respect to your colleague at the back. You can do your parties, but don't get, don't get into the guys. A nice young gentleman, promising guy. Now look at what you are doing to yourself. And is that, is that is, your, your, your entry to parties? Look at how you have started. Look at how you have started. Dirty, dirty, dirty statements. Irresponsible, no, no ethics. You just call your senior criminal. A no lawyer. You, you are a criminal lawyer. And you do think it's, it's, it's you just make allegations with no no evidence to prove. Do you know when you say somebody is a crime, a criminal? Do you know what it means? It's entails. Has the person been tried before a court of competent judicial? And you call us like when we call ourselves a constitutional lawyer. Oh my god. Listen to me. As I bring me, 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 I don't know. I'm ending in these notes. May the, may, the, may, the, may the soul of President, former President Adamus, rest in perfect peace. Ten years are not lying. Hoping, say, he has found favor in the sight of God. Hoping, say, Ghanaians will stop politicizing the issue of Asumbi, park renovation, and then a graveside renovation. Let's move on and see what we can do. To, 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 to preserve his legacy and learn something good from his legacy. Now with the judiciary, let's stop the needless attack. Let's stop creating problems for the judiciary. Let's contribute our quota. Let's support the system. Let's do, let's do constructive criticism. Let's, 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 let's build that institution so that together, justice, will not only be done, but be seen to be done. God bless our home of Mumbai. Onye niya, ede wa kuma so mao. Manawotri, di biya da ida kuma posu biya na niya me niya mao.